didn't even believe in hypnosis. To me, hypnosis was one of those things that you go to the state fair and you know you watch people have fun on stage, but you assume that they're either drunk or gullible or maybe they're paid to be on stage or something like that, right? I didn't believe in it. Hypnosis isn't spooky, it isn't voodoo, it isn't mind control. All it is is a coupling of relaxation plus focused attention so we can speak to your subconscious mind, which is where all habits are formed. So uh, somebody asked me recently how I went from being a, a miserable computer programmer, being stuck in a corporate grind, uh, a job that I didn't have any passion for, any desire for, um, to really finding what my purpose was, finding my passion. And uh, that's really helping people, becoming a certified clinical hypnotherapist. So the story goes back to 1998. I was a, a computer programmer. I was working long hours. I was getting paid really well, but I, I didn't really like my job. Computer programming wasn't something that I ever dreamed of being uh, in. It wasn't something that uh, I had a passion for. It was just something I, I was good at. And uh, like most people, I think I was just trading my time for money and you know, trying to make the best living that I could. But like most people, kind of hating five days of my week until I could finally get to the weekend and, and enjoy a couple of days of my life um, you know, with my, and spend time with my kids and things like that. So 1998, I'm a computer programmer. I'm working really hard. I'm stressed out smoked three packs of cigarettes a day, found myself at the Orange County Fair. I would go there all the time with my friends. It was one of the things I loved to do. There was a stage hypnotist there. And after we enjoyed the show, at the end of the show, he's selling these tapes at the back. He's saying, you know, step right up, step right up, get your tapes, three for $20. I had $20 in my pocket, and I was really curious what this guy thought he was gonna say on a cassette tape uh, to hypnotize somebody. I didn't even believe in hypnosis. To me, hypnosis was one of those things that you go to the state fair and you know you watch people have fun on stage, but you assume that they're either drunk or gullible or maybe they're paid to be on stage or something like that, right? I didn't believe in it. But here was this irresistible offer. I couldn't pass it up. So I pulled $20 out of my pocket and I walked up to the table and I put down my $20 and he goes, great, which tapes do you want? I thought, wow, I didn't even think about that. I looked down and there's, I don't know, 20, 25 tapes in this glass case. And the very first one that popped out at me was quit smoking. I bought that and two other tapes and I went home. I didn't do anything with it for about three weeks. So one day I was bored enough. I uh, noticed the, the paper bag sitting on the table and I went and got out my big yellow Sony boom box. I don't know if you remember those waterproof boom boxes with the cassette player in it. And I pulled out that cassette tape, stuck it in. And uh, the guy in the tape, he said, listen, hypnosis isn't spooky, it isn't voodoo, it isn't mind control. All it is, is a coupling of relaxation plus focused attention so we can speak to your subconscious mind which is where all habits are formed. Smoking is just a habit. Since hypnosis is scientifically proven, just put this tape in, listen to it when you go to sleep, when you wake up in the morning, you'll be a non-smoker. And I had tried everything to quit smoking at that point. I really felt like a failure because uh, not only did I smoke excessively, three packs of cigarettes a day, it's 60 cigarettes a day, uh, and the cost of cigarettes were rising, um, but I, I couldn't even go sometimes 20 minutes without a cigarette. I would get this just gripping feeling that I couldn't ignore and I would have to have a cigarette in order to satisfy that. And uh, times that I had tried to previously quit, I'd be lucky if I could make it even a day. Usually it was only a couple of hours and I would give up and, and you know feel like a complete failure and go back to smoking. So I popped this tape and I listened to it. I drift off to sleep. And the next morning when I woke up, cigarettes literally disappeared from my life. I went from throw, smoking three packs of cigarettes a day to zero. And this is for a guy who was extremely skeptical, very logical, and didn't believe in hypnosis and I knew something magical had happened. So I spent the next year and a half really kind of dabbling and reading books and, and playing around with the idea of hypnosis. And then in March of 2000, I went to a three-day hypnotherapy course. And this is the same course that we actually teach today. It's called Learn Hypnosis Live. And I went to a three-day course. I did it just for fun. I was a computer programmer. I was making about a quarter million dollars a year. I had a comfortable life, even though I wasn't satisfied with my life. I was very unhappy with my life at the time. But along comes this thing where uh, I hypnotized people in the class. I actually got to, to use what I was learning in class and hypnotize people and help people. But then four days after I graduated, I saw my very first client in my living room, helped a guy quit smoking. He handed me a check for $150 and I knew that I was onto something. I felt so passionate about what I did. I loved what I did. Now I didn't have a degree in psychology. I didn't uh, have any kind of background in psychology or mental health work or anything like that. It's, it's actually one of the big myths. People think you have to have a degree in psychology to become a cl clinical hypnotherapist. You actually don't because hypnotherapy and psychology are two completely, totally different things. 
Uh, while a psychologist can use hypnotherapy for diagnoses and disorders, and they do have to be licensed for that, most of the work that we do as hypnotherapists, we work with people on things that are not diagnosable. We work with changing habits, helping people feel different things, quitting a bad habit like quit smoking, adopting new habits like working out, overcoming fears, things like that. And uh, I became hooked. So I saw that first client about four days later. It was such an exhilarating feeling. I, it was such a great feeling to help change somebody's life probably prolong somebody's life, you know, helping somebody quit smoking. And then I got paid for it on top of that. And so very quickly, I started talking to everybody I knew about hypnotherapy. And uh, I started telling, you know, the, the waiters, the waiters and waitresses at, at uh, restaurants and the cab driver and people like that. And I started getting more and more clients and then uh, ultimately ended up, you know, really learning how to market myself as a hypnotherapist and growing my practice. So eventually I started off seeing clients in my living room. Right? I, I was making, like I said, $250,000 a year as a programmer. I, I felt it was going to be irresponsible to just quit that job. But then I ended up making so much money doing hypnotherapy and I loved it so much more that I finally quit that stinking day job and I opened up my hypnotherapy office. Eventually became a master hypnotherapist and even a trainer of hypnotherapy and neurolinguistic programming. And that's what I do now. So I've been doing that for 21 years as of uh, the recording right now. And it is the most amazing thing that I've ever done in my life. It's been the most rewarding thing, both emotionally, spiritually, financially that I've ever done. If learning hypnotherapy, even just for yourself, maybe your kids, your family members, helping your friends, which is how I originally started using it. If learning hypnotherapy to start your own practice, help a lot of people, get paid really well for it, and you know maybe even quit that stinking day job. If that's something that you're interested in, visit learnhypnosislive.com. And uh, we teach a wonderful three-day hypnotherapy course. It's a beginner hypnotherapy course that'll give you everything you need to get started with the two big money makers in hypnotherapy, right? Which is smoking and weight loss, as well as performance enhancement. That's letting go of fears, gaining motivation, all kinds of things like that. We teach you how to do it step by step. Anybody can do it if you have no experience and there's no degree required. So uh, that's how I got my start. Hopefully we can help you get your start on that too, if that's something you're passionate about. And we hope to see you there. Visit LearnHypnosisLive.com.